Hey there, friends. Welcome to episode number 187 of It'll Be Fine. I'm your friend and your pal, Kelly Zemnikis. And on today's show, we are making CPP, chicken pot pie, with winter root vegetables. How amazing does that sound? Oh my God, I am so excited. I'm such a veggie fan, and I am a big fan of my guest today, he is not only an improviser and a musician, but he's also a published author, no biggie. Uh, he's a statistician, a mathematician, uh, he's a professor, um, he's also uh, very tall. My friend, my dear friend, Jeff Rosenthal is on the show today. He is zooming in from his kitchen here in Toronto. Uh, I'm so excited, because now it's gonna look like I'm the same height as my guest. Oh, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> it'll be fine it'll be fine it'll be fine it'll be fine you done with cpp yeah you know me <laughs> joke there we go <laughs> we're good yay <laughs> high five thanks. high five thanks for having me i'm excited I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous it's the summer solstice and it'll be fine right exactly that is that is my mantra and will be my next tattoo probably it'll be fine well it's a great philosophy not just for cooking but for life exactly exactly <laughs> i do have like something close i've got two it possible all is possible nice kind of in that theme um, but I'm, I'm looking forward to this and given the time of day we're making this, I'm going to have a yummy lunch. Yeah, for sure. I, I like chicken pot pie. So if it comes out at all decently, that'll be very exciting, but that isn't if. <laughs> I think so, either way, either way, the thought is always appreciated, appreciated, uh, by whoever you're cooking for. So, uh, if, if the missus is around, I'm sure she'll enjoy it either way. Yeah. You think I can use this to impress the chicks? You think so? <laughs> I think so. I have to chop my vegetables into cubes. Okay, because I, I wasn't sure how much prep I'm supposed to do pre-show versus during the show. So I didn't do much except for peeling the, the, the vegetable the two vegetables, but that is all good. So I think what we can start by doing is whatever root vegetable you're going for, uh the recipe suggests uh like turnips and parsnips and carrots. Right. Um, I also have some sweet potato kicking around, so I'm gonna throw that in too. Okay. Um I didn't realize yeah. flexible. I was like reading the, the recipe over and over and ordering on grocery gateway. <laughs> no, it has to be a whole turn of it. I tried to get everything just right. <laughs> I could only find like a bunch of tiny turnips in my grocery store. So this is, I always get confused between the, like, so these, this, this is the turnip and this is the parsnip, right? Cool. This <laughs> is the parsnip. Oh, sorry. This, I got it backwards. So this yeah. is the parsnip and this is the turnip. That's the turnip. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not really an expert at my root vegetables, and I gotta admit, usually, like, even if I have, say, carrots, I buy the baby carrots where it's already cut up into little pieces, so I said, no, I'm not doing that today, I'm getting the whole carrots, I'm peeling them, I'm doing it authentic today. <laughs> yeah, it's, the, the parsnip is more carrot-like in shape. Uh, right. One of my favorite root vegetables, like, if you don't want to put this in a chicken pot pie, or if you bought, like, a ton of them, and you're like, I don't want to put it all in the pie, uh, do parsnip french fry style or like chips. I might try that because we do have some extra. The, uh, they came in like the bag of parsnips was more than the two parsnips I needed today. Well, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, we'll do some of our prep. We will okay. get that um, One thing I will suggest uh, first is to turn your oven onto 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, if your oven is Celsius, whatever. That no, it's Fahrenheit. I'm ready to do that. I gotta admit, I'm always nervous because I always, I always do the preheat oven when it says to, and it always takes me like three times as long to chop everything, get ready. And meanwhile, my kitchen's roasting and I'm not cooking anything. But if you guys should do it now, I'm gonna do it now. And I think I even figured out how. All right. Now, I cut up, this is the um, the turnip, right? Turnip. Yes. And, did I start cutting that one too? Correct. Yeah. And, yeah. We're gonna chop all that up because uh, what we're gonna do um, for those uh, who will be playing the home game. Uh, we're going to start this on the stove top. So get your, right. get yeah. your pan ready. Um, pan. We're going to be putting all these veggies yeah, on top. That. 
but with it's the exception, with the exception, right. I will say Jeff and I have both decided to forego the celery. Right. Uh, Cause you sir are not a fan and I am allergic. So. I was so excited because I gotta be honest, I, I've always hated celery my whole life and I've occasionally been mocked for it. Cause they say, well, are there any foods you don't like? Oh, I eat anything. Well, uh, actually I'm not crazy about celery. What? It's so mild. That's so weird. And then I told you, and you're allergic, and now I would like you to marry me. You may have to talk to your wife about that. <laughs> uh, I should bring up uh, on the show a, a photo. I'll, I'll search through the, the files. But this is kind of like our second time making something together, because for my birthday one year, uh, you Vader provided cake. the Darth Vader you're cake. Right, the Darth Vader cake. That was awesome. I, I remember appreciating that you you made me feel I was included, even though I didn't really know what I was doing by saying, here, Jeff, now you can pour this oil into this measuring cup for me. And that was my contribution while we were making that cake. I remember that. Yeah, so it's our it's our re it's our uh, reunion, our baking reunion. Right. Okay. <laughs> Darth Vader cake. But see also then we were in person, so you were allowed to you you could do almost all the work and I could still yeah. eat it. Now I gotta actually cook it myself here. That is true. That is true. I made, uh, I used a wonderful uh, cake, uh, cake mold that, that Jeff has, um, but I turned it into a Miss Darth Vader cake because it was pink. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was awesome with pink frosting and everything. That was really good. Yeah. So this is a, a Curtis Stone uh, recipe. For those watching, uh, you can just scroll down into the YouTube comments. There's a little link. You can head to this uh, page and play along with us. Um, so what else do we need? Uh, you're going to have to uh, finely chop some garlic or mince it, if you will. Uh, that is going to go into the stove top. We're going to need about two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Uh, if you have salted, no worries. Just eliminate the salt portion later in the recipe. Um, that was handy. I've met Curtis Stone. You, you met him? Yet? Yeah, I, uh, oh. many, many moons ago, uh, I have no concept of time anymore. It could have been a year ago. I don't remember. I, um, uh, <laughs> I went to this like Toronto food and wine event and I bought a ticket uh, to do a uh, Italian cooking class with him. And he was fabulous. Oh my gosh. Two tablespoons of butter will get that melted. There are those beautiful veggies now in the pan. It's gonna hang out. Let's say about five, seven minutes. You want all the veggies to get nice and tender before they go into the dish that will ultimately go into the oven and result in our pot pie. So Wow. Yeah. It's crazy talk. What's that? It's not crazy. It's crazy. You start, with raw, you start with raw vegetables and you end up with a finished product. What's up with that? Now, if you had a nickel for every time someone has said to you, what are the odds? How many nickels would you have? <laughs> I have yeah, heard my fair share of what are the odds. I don't mind it. I only mind it when people think they're the first ones to say it to me. That's when it gets going, but... <laughs> As long as they're just going with the flow, that's fine by me. Do you find, uh, do you find with your students you're good at giving reassurance? No. <laughs> Roast chicken here. They put it in this real like freeze uh, vacuum pack thing, so it's like all plasticized. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Wasn't so fascinating, but that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, I've got mine in a. Big old plastic box here. Not the greatest for the environment. Yeah, no, that's what I'm more used to. But with grocery gateways, that's how they give it. So should I be going for like it's a whole chicken, but am I pretty much going for the, the white meat here? Is that right? Um he is saying, uh the recipe is saying <laughs> take the roasted chicken, tear into large bite-sized pieces. And my dog is agreeing. <laughs> the dog's saying give. We're gonna add the flour to this. And then um, after that, we are going to be adding our milk and our cream. So with the chicken, are you are you using one whole chicken or what are you using? I'm 
probably going to be using the ma majority of this. Your chicken might be bigger than mine. I know size isn't important and everything, but I'm still feeling a little inadequate here. And if you wanted, um, you could make this more heavy on the veggies than the chicken. You can kind of play around with that measurement. Um, I, like, I like chicken. I'm just trying to make sure you get the right amount. Okay, so the flour has gone in, and now we're just going to mix this all together for about one minute. Beverage is in. We've got our milk, cream, flour. We're, we're getting there done. We're getting there, Jeff. Okay. All There's right. only four steps to this. It's going to be... Oh, <laughs> uh, it really sizzled. Is that good? What's that, bud? When I poured the milk, it really sizzled. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah, we wanted to give uh, we wanted to give a little bit of a liquid to this because it's just really been sitting in that butter. <laughs> go, Jeff, go. <laughs> go, Jeff, go. <laughs> That's what I need. That's why they have beer beers at the games. Oh, this smells awesome. All right. Next part of this adventure is adding in the time. Wait. The time. You're going <laughs> to add in the sprig. I'm putting in this whole puppy. And then is it one sprig? I thought it said three sprigs, but it says three sprigs. Yeah, I got them so, here. Just gonna sit this on top for some uh, nice flavor. I'm a little nervous, but I'm hanging in there. So you, you say remove it now from the heat? Yes, please. Yeah. So should I be switching off the stove because we're not using the stove again, right? Correct. Okay, and then the um. Yeah, the chicken, I'm a little worried too. I was just ripping off these hunks from this whole chicken. Yeah. I guess I should cut them up into uh, bite-sized bits as best I can. Try to avoid the uh, bone and skin and stuff, right? I'm I'm avoiding bone. I will throw in the skin because I love the flavor. I'm taking this uh, roasted chicken apart. We're adding it to this off the heat. Uh, our, our oven is ready at 400, so we're almost there. I have to thank you for hosting all the wonderful Zoom meals you have over the past, I guess, going on two years now. <laughs> <laughs> Been a while. Well, wild. You're most welcome. It's always a pleasure to see you there. And uh, oh. not bad, although I have to battle with the websites and everything. I don't have to battle with actually cooking any food. Uh, it's, it's such a great way to keep connected because, like, that's one thing I really love is having people over for food because, like, you share such great stories and you just get to like have nice company and share food. And so it's, it's been good to like keep breaking bread even virtually. So <laughs> absolutely, really yeah. nice. All right. Your cooking show is so it's the cooking and it's the breaking bread, right? All in one. Yeah, yeah totally. It's, it was so nice to have, you know, some family over and I, I had our friends, Sam and Beth come by for dinner recently and, and now, of course, it's kind of on pause because things have just taken such a turn. But I look forward to having people over again. Yeah, it's bad timing with the holidays coming up. We're just uh, in all our family plans and I'm sure everybody else is too. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Like I just my just everyone in the family canceled their plans. All my travel I had booked for January for comedy shows not happening because it's not the right thing to do. Uh, let me just make sure we got all our stuff in here. Um, oh, hey, you know what I forgot? The broth. Oh, what? I forgot the broth. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the chicken broth, right? Oh, yeah. I wondered about that. Um, all right. So into this, uh, what I would suggest, uh, put your, if you're like us and you forgot the broth, uh, just put it back onto the stovetop at a low heat, add the oh. broth in. Uh, we need one and three quarter cups. All right. Now, one question: I have the um, the canned chicken broth that um, that uh, it's like concentrated. You're supposed to mix it with water. So, should I do that? Actually, I just put half of the uh, required amount and then the same amount of water. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like that. Yeah. What I'm going to do now is take this wonderful pastry, this egg mixture here. We're gonna get we're gonna get ready to finish this. It's the final so count. Stretch out your pastry to go over the surface area of your skillet. So whether you want to do that by hand or with a rolling pin, I am notoriously 
bad when it comes to rolling pins. I, it just sticks on them. I, I just don't like them. So I like using my hands. Um, but basically you're just stretching this guy out. Once you've gotten that nice flower from your surface, stretch, stretch, stretch. And all right. Then as I say, this is going to go over that skillet that is on your stovetop. So. I, have, I didn't really have a good skillet to put in the oven, so I was going to transfer it to another uh, container before putting it in the oven. Is that cool? You absolutely can do that too. Yeah, that is not a problem. Um, I actually have a nice little dish here, so I might, I might follow your lead on that and put it in there. Make sure Never keep right. the dough either. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're barking up the wrong tree, man. So I'm going to follow Jeff's lead. I'm going to put this actually in this container and remember to take out those sprigs of thyme. But, but should I be putting the pastry onto my floury thing now? Yeah. So as, <laughs> as, um, as you're stretching it out, have, have it on that floury surface. So you're either rolling it out or pushing it out with your hands. Um, <laughs> however you want to do that. Take out those sprigs of thyme, as I say. Yeah. And when does the egg thingy go on? Is that later? Or if I that is going it? to be just after we put this on top of the dish. So we're just moments away from that. Oh, okay. Like after you put the pastry on first and then you put Correct. the egg on. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's going to act as a little bit of a, it's going to, it's acting like the sunscreen uh, <laughs> when it goes into the oven, you know. That's a good analogy. Oh, there you go. All right. So we've got this into another dish. To just make a nice serving presentation. All right. So then with this, we're going to put the pastry on top of it. Jeff, just so you know, when yeah. you do get to this part, it's going to look like this. Right. Okay. And then what about, have you put the egg on already? Or you're not like yet. I will wait for you to put the egg on it. That's so sweet. No one's ever waited for me before. <laughs> I'm just I'm doing this scooping because I'm afraid if I try to pour from the skillet, it's going uh, it's going on the floor. I gotta be honest with you. You got this. You got this. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll be with you in about an hour. <laughs> when you're ready, I will get the egg on top. Um, make sure, friends, you mix your milk and your egg together like this, and then we are going to glaze this over the top so once you're ready jeff take this stuff okay i got it into the, who knew that transferring from the pan to the uh the casserole dish would be the hardest part of the job for me <laughs> and then i gotta put the great uh stretchy um uh paste uh roll pastry thing on top that's going to be scary too Sometimes, sometimes a, a good adventure is, is needed, I think. I'm not complaining. I'm just trying to hope for the best year. Of all the, of all the scary things in the world right now, this one's, this one's an acceptable scare. <laughs> oh, and then you said put a little salt on top, right? A little salt on top. You can do a little pepper if you want to. I'm going to do that too, just for fun. Um, and this will go into the oven, which is at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes, three zero. Oh, do you hear that crackle? Look at that beauty of a dish, friends. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to tuck into this. Please let it cool down before you indulge. Jeff is gonna be back in a moment and we're gonna eat. Oh my gosh, so good. Hey Kelly, nice to see you. I survived. You did it! How is it <laughs> looking? Uh, there's my creation of sorts. I think the top's a little lopsided. I definitely didn't know how to do the um, the uh, pastry stretching thing properly, but nonetheless, it's looking okay. I haven't that, cut it yet though. That is awesome. Let me let me hold up mine. Let me get uh, a little glove on because it's still a little toasty from being. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not in a hurry, but uh, but. Uh, Here's my little baby. Oh, that looks good. That looks very nice. So smells so good. Everyone in the house is excited to try this. So. Yeah, nice. <laughs> oh man. Great. All right, let's try this. 
Mm. It's good. Mm. It's good. Wow. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Careful, it might be hot. <laughs> I, I need I need to get a glass of water handy, by the way. I don't know if you used that old trick. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, it's good. I'm excited. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> it is. Mm. This has such good flavor and is so warm and comforting. Oh it's my warm God. and comforting on this. On this starkest day of the year, we've um, created warmth and comfort. <laughs> we have indeed. Look at us go. Yeah. Oh, man. How are you enjoying the roof edge? I'm enjoying the roof edge. They're, oh. um, they're, they're well cooked. They're soft. They, uh, they taste good. And um, yeah, no, um, no, no root veg complaints here. Oh, man. Yeah, oh. this is great. Thank you so much for... Uh, Leading me into a whole new dimension of home cooked chicken pot pies. I am. I'm so excited. So when can we expect your cookbook? <laughs> <laughs> Is this of me screaming? Wait, am I doing this right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Kelly, Kelly, hold on, Kelly. <laughs> I think that's a great title. Wait, am I doing this right? <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, help Kelly yeah, by Jeffrey Kelly, Rosenthal. Kelly. Yeah, it'd have to be a cookbook. How to cook when you're near Kelly. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine.